Capricorn, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot. And if you are not subscribed yet, then I feel honoured and grateful. If you would subscribe and hit the bell, then you'll be notified. Okay, if you don't hit the bell, you won't be notified. And if you subscribe, then you it will save this channel in your library. Then you can come back at your own leisure. I'm using a couple of decks this week, Capricorn, because this is your reading for the 9th to the 15th of March and we will be at mid-month and out of the Mercury, Mercury retrograde around the 10th, between the 10th and the 14th. One astrologer says 14, the other one says 10 and well you have the after effects for one or two weeks as well but if you are signing contracts then wait as long as you can definitely until the after the 14th. I'm using the Metatron deck, I'm using the Angel Filler deck for the Oracle cards and I'm using the Enchanted Dream Tarot deck, my little beautiful empowering uh, feminine deck that is um, showing us uh, and um, uh, proclaiming the feminine side of all of us, men or women, and of course the the love, the passion, the nurturing and the caring uh, character of a woman. And I've just made um, a review on the House of Shadows, that is also an oracle deck by Monica uh, Bord... Uh, I've, I can't keep on forgetting how to pronounce it. Bordurki's uh, deck. She's an artist and also a, a, a tarot reader, oracle reader for 40 years and she also supports the Bat Federation. Every deck that she sells she uh, gives a dollar to the Bat Federation in Canada. And today I've got a, a new uh, item as well and that's just a little extra and that's the crystal ball that you've heard about in the live session last night and also in the news and update video. Go and have a look at that video and always I appreciate it and it's also in your own interest to keep us in the search robots, the alpha rhythm, so please give us the thumbs up and share the videos with family and friends. So I'm going to start off, it is um, not an in-depth reading of the crystal ball, but I am going to do the re little reading for you, Capricorn, and let's have a look. There, it looks like uh, we've got um, glitter, in, golden glitter in the bowl, and they call that infusions. You can see an infusion here as well. And I'll, I'm just using a, a candle uh, holder um, so it doesn't damage the crystal ball. And I can turn it round and let the light shine through. Right, I'm stopping here. And I'm seeing like a brush, a brush, uh, a bush. And it's feathering out. So I think you're spreading your feathers. Um, I also see endings and I also see a shaped heart. Um, you might be starting something that you love or that you're passionate about, perhaps a new relationship. And I also see a car. You might be traveling. You might be traveling. I see a car. It's a very old American car, I don't I don't know, a Buick or a Cadillac, it's got a soft top on it. Could be pink or red. And it's it's big. Um leather seats. Um something is coming to an end, perhaps a journey, a spiritual journey, or um no that's in the ball. A spiritual journey or a physical journey. I also see that a wish is coming true, perhaps a new love, because I did see that heart shape and I've turned the ball and again I see the top of a heart. 
so there might be a new um, passion or love coming um, and I also see a fur baby right at the bottom here I can't see my finger but I'm seeing it like that right through there um, open up open up Capricorn because you are protecting yourself you're scared of something like I also see the infinity symbol it looks like an infinity symbol if I'm right on top of the crystal so you're holding on to something for dear life or your mind is going round and round and round so come out of your mind uh, you might feel tied up so open up your solar plex and your heart that could be because the heart is right on top of the infinity symbol if you are going to meet somebody this could be the one for infinity means forever for a long lasting period okay um, also, I see bumps in the road, uh, bumps, ups and downs. That is life, my darling. Don't be um, dismayed. Um, take it as an adventure. That is what I'm seeing. Okay. Also, take time out. I hear void, void, void. So there's a void somewhere. So try to fill that hole if there is a void or a hole in a feeling of emptiness. Perhaps that's what you're, is gnawing at you. So perhaps you might want to go to another country. Perhaps you might want to go to another country or there is an other place that you want to go back to. Okay, well, I'm not going to go too long into this because I'm going to do an extensive reading and I hope you uh, enjoyed that. Um, it does start working and flowing. You can go on and on and on. Okay, so I'm going to shake the um, Enchanted Dream Tarot and see what comes out. Okay. Uh, we've got judgment, we've got judgment, and then we have the High Priest S, and the Five of Cups, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and then we have the Star, again, your wish, that's confirming the Crystal Ball, I did say your wish is coming true, now I'm going to use this as clarification card, merely stop it. And I'm using the new or uh, Lenormand deck from uh, Monica uh, Bodrinsky. And you've got the mountains. You've got the mountains. And it looks like a monster. You might be doubled up. Perhaps that's what you're thinking about. And you've got the book. And the very sturdy cards. And I love them. And you've got the hand. The hand. Okay. Now. Um, there are uh, five extra cards in this deck, so, and the fish, okay, I'm not going to use any clarification cards, otherwise it's going to be too long, perhaps I might, uh, underneath the deck we've got the eight of swords, let's go, I'll just have to do it a bit quicker, you've got the eight of swords, okay, uh, let's put it there, and here we've got the anchor that anchor just move that aside okay i'm not doing the charms today i hope you enjoyed the charms um i didn't get much reaction about that from last week's reading okay on monday you have judgment and in this uh, judgment means um, a new beginning or a second chance rising from the dead. Um, usually in the traditional deck you see Gabriel blowing on a trumpet, blowing life into the family that's rising from the dead. Here we've got the phoenix rising from the ashes. So a new beginning. It's time for a new beginning. And you might see it as a problem, this new beginning, um, as you have the mountains. 
And I would say don't make mountains out of molehills. Don't feel as if you're going to be gobbled up. Okay, just take it at, at your own time. You can walk the path as well. You don't have to feel that everything is so heavy. The saying is usually don't make a mountain out of a molehill. Okay, there might be something daunting, but take it as a, an adventure. Don't make a mountain out of it. Um, you might think somebody is a bully. Um, perhaps that is daunting you, that somebody is higher than you. Don't think that. You are just as good, if not better, than them. If somebody is bullying you and think that they're higher and better than you, that is not right. That shouldn't be allowed. Um, it's only mirroring, mirroring, mirroring their own uh, in capabilities or their own inferiority complex. Um, and then we have the High Priestess. Sorry for the banging, but somebody is rebuilding here. So we've got the High Priestess. Your intuition might be heightened at the moment. She also represents the moon, and the moon is Pisces, so you might be meeting a Pisces. Listen to your intuition, and your emotions might be heightened as well, especially in the Mercury retrograde that we are having now. She's also somebody that has the universe or the world's wisdom, as she's got the scroll next to her. The scroll is next to her. Sorry about that noise, darlings. And that's the, like the Torah. And I also see the pillar um, in this card. And that's the doorway of the angels. The angels are giving you a doorway, a porthole to uh, go through a new beginning. Look at those blossoms. You're going, you can harvest a new beginning. There's been growth, perhaps, spiritually. Then you've got the book. And the book means um, there are secrets. There might be secrets, or you might be starting a new study. It also means that you need more information about a situation or uh, a question that you have. You need to gain more knowledge about something. Um, like you need the, uh, the worldly knowledge about a subject. So perhaps that you can, perhaps you're starting a new job and you find it daunting because you need more information, something that, it might be something totally different that you're going to start and you, you find it daunting so that you need more information to feel secure and um, qualified to do the job. So you might start an internship or a refresh course in midweek Wednesday. Then we have the Five of Cups. And she's, the angel is just showing up to tell the girl, don't worry, don't cry over spilled milk. You've still got two cups standing. So be grateful for what you have. Uh, two is better than nothing. Okay. Um, I must confess um, there are five cards that I do not know much about, but you've got the hand. So in the first instance, I would say, um, sorry about the noise, guys. In the first instance, I would say uh, the hand. You have the key in your own hand. And the hand means destiny. You can see all the zodiac signs and there's somebody sitting there. Perhaps it's somebody telling you 
the way to go about it. Somebody might give you advice about which way you could go about it. But it could be destiny that you are being taught um, how to do it. This is my interpretation. What it really means, I'll read it to you. The hand, destiny. What is your destiny, although we can exercise free will during our lives? There are many things that are believed to be predetermined and beyond our control. When this card appears, look to surrounding cards to determine what appears to be your fate as opposed to what is in your control. Your fate is getting new knowledge working together all right so let's um get back to the other cards you've got the star card and that means your wish is coming true or your goal you can work well in groups you've got the fish you can work in groups know your boundaries let the other people know your boundaries so that you will not have to say, yes, 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 I will do that, I will do that, because people can walk all over you. That is not your destiny. Your destiny is to gain knowledge and to work in groups. You can do that. Luck is on your side. There might be a promotion. There could, it, it could be more customers if you have your own business. And this might be daunting to you because you are starting something new here, perhaps your own business. And you're, you've listened to your intuition, but you still need a lot of knowledge to be able to do the bookkeeping. Now, well, you can solve that by going to a bookkeeper or an accountant and lighten your load in the beginning and take it over later on. So that could be it. Learn to delegate, especially when you're working in groups. Know your boundaries and don't be the one that does everything. Boom. So learn to delegate. Now you, at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Eight of Swords. You might feel tied up and imprisoned in your own head. Usually... Um, she she has her hands tied behind her back and wears a blindfold. Here she is caught in a web. She's tied to the web or stuck in a web. Well, take off that blindfold. She's got her hands loose. So take off that blindfold. Then you can walk away from that web. And all of a sudden in this reading, I get... You might feel you have to network, make a web. So make, um, but I think you have to cut some people off. You have to cut some people away that are no good for you because they won't expect, uh, accept your boundaries. They do not understand no. Learn to say no. This is also a piece of your destiny. Your wish is coming true. Okay. And the anchor, you've got the anchor for the Lenamon deck. And that means you feel safe where you are. And yes is the question. Am I going to say, stay here? Is my business going to be uh, um, bringing me abundance? Is it going to be positive? Will business... Um, Rise, increase, yes, your business will increase. You've got the wish card, just use your intuition. Look at what you have and not at what you don't have. You can uh, multiply those two cups back into five cups or six cups to ten cups. Cups are over, will be overflowing again. That is what this reading is about. Don't see it as an obstacle. Take it as an um, adventure. Okay? You, we all have our peaks and uh, valleys. Our peaks and valleys. Or ups and downs. 
Now you have the cream angel feather. Embrace change. Change will also make room for the new. The angels applaud your willingness to embrace change with acceptance and maturity. There you go. You can meditate on cream. You can wear cream. That is very nice. Cream and navy blue. Very, very official and ex executive like. So if you have to go to a job interview, then wear cream and navy blue. Eat blue fruit. Meditate. Oh, sorry. Eat cream. Drink cream. Ice cream. Milk. That's got cream on it. It's good for the body, good for the, the uh, muscles and joints and teeth. Show that beautiful white smile. And for uh, uh, the Oracle card from Metatron, Metatron is giving you priorities, building blocks for life. That is what you could be learning building blocks for life to increase your um, customers if you have your own business or increase your um, rec um, the recognition from others okay your luck building blocks for life and that is all your chakras ground yourself open your solar plex that's the yellow then you've got what well, forgot the orange you might feel more sexy, make yourself more appealing by wearing beautiful clothes that fit the job. Um, open your heart, talk. Blue is talk, the throat, Saint Michael, Archangel Michael. And then you've got the third eye, the purple. And then you've got the uh, indigo, sorry. And then you've got the uh, crown chakra, the purple. Use your intuitiveness, your spirituality. Okay, you are protected by the angels. Look at the wings around the chakras. Make a, priori a priority list. Know your boundaries. Learn to say no. Increase your knowledge about a certain subject or what you need to increase. Okay, my beautiful Capricorns, those are your cards for this week. Awesome. I hope you have enjoyed this reading. I certainly have. Take care, be blessed and be wise. And I'll please share and like and subscribe. And give us the thumbs up and I'll see you tonight. Take care.